Tonight on Geekology, have Eagle Moss finally got the hang of doing this shit? Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell. Hi and welcome to Geekology. I'm David. I'm Stan. And tonight we're going to be reviewing Star Trek, the official Starship collection by Eagle Moss. Issue 142 and 143. Excellent. There's yes. only 47 texts to get there. Yes. Okay, so we have. Can, can I just say before this is one of the the alien ships that I've actually been looking forward to. <gasps> I'm shocked. Oh, because it's there's nobody in their right mind was ever going to release this. This is true. Yeah. And it was a cracking episode. Yes, we were trapped. So yeah. Yay. Anyway, sorry. Go go with the magazine. What we really want is an Enterprise D with a little shuttle stuck out the front, guiding it through. Um. <clears throat> so Promethean Battle Cruiser. Uh, type warship, launched 14th century, length 600 meters, propulsion, fusion engine. This thing was dates from our middle ages. <laughs> mm. um, sorry, can I look at... Okay, maybe I'll get it in the topographical view. Okay. Uh, so again, warship, 14th century, 2366, 600 meters, Lang cycle fusion engines. <laughs> so, uh, example, Klepungi, Captain Galaxar. Okay. See, so you get a shot of the ship, and there's an actual shot of the ship from the episode when it's stuck in the BB trap. It's um, one of those. It's one of the, those shots that just reminds me of all the really fantastically bad science fiction movies. From the 80s. You're right, it does rock. <laughs> and rock. <laughs> and rock. And rock. <laughs> and next to a rock. Um, lost a bit of weight there, Dave. Just um, a smidge. Yeah, that is the kind of diet I need to go on to, to be honest. Yeah. 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 Wow. I can't believe um, somebody went to the trouble of CGI-ing this. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, they had to do the mesh to make the model. True. So, yeah. And uh, there's it getting photoned to death. I'm not um, sure if my, my bridge is on wonky or so something. It's meant to be that view. way. Like, oh, I don't think it's no, meant to be that way. No. It's AWEX dome, should not be like that. It's a sensor dome, apparently. Yes, I seem to recall something like that. So. Yeah, you call it a bridge, you're a muppet. Um, you call it a bridge. Don't just did. bridge. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. Damn. Mm. Wow. Um, in fact, there's nothing pointed out. As, oh, no, there's a main bridge at the front. It makes slightly more sense than some of the other places the Federation... Yeah, I'll give you that. All right. Um, yeah, it's giving me a little bit of a Star Destroyer vibe right now. Really? Yeah. I was getting more, uh, I really want to watch Alien again. Or I really okay. want to watch The Last Starfighter. Or I really want to watch Battle for Earth. You know, just... Fusion nacelles, aft and forward energy weapons. And a particle cannon or two on the wings. Fuck you do. As you do. Nice. Oh, building the original model. Oh, oh, that's quite nice. Like that. That is actually quite a large model. That's what she put for a ship of the week. That ain't bad. <gasps> oh, oh, oh! Really ugly phase of variations. Production <laughs> design stuff. That's quite cool. So we'd love to see some stuff like that. Your favourite icon? Oh, um, interior of a ball cube. And uh, key appearance, booby trap, yeah. A uh, little bit of Susan Gibney. Um, there we go. And the next issue is the Merchantman, which is right in there. Yep. Okay. Review away. You have a bent sensor down. I have a bent sensor down. Your dome is off at an angle. Mm. It is. <laughs> That's some nice weathering going on there. I think it's yep. one of the very few ships where I like weathering on it because of what... Flip it over and it. look at the join line. That's quite nicely done. Yep. Ooh. The whole thing. Is if it wasn't nice for the fact that my one is wonky, please don't leave comments on that. <coughs> wonky dome. Um... Considering it's a dead starship and therefore doesn't have lights, etc., 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 
that's actually really nicely detailed and really nicely done, isn't it? Yeah. Except for the wonky dome. Except for my wonky dome. <laughs> um, actually, I feel like, well, well, I can't remember what the species were, but what were the species in Hyperdrive? Talky door! Talky, so, wonky dome! Wonky, they were the equivalent of the... I really want to say Paxons. Pacleds? Pacleds. Yeah, the equivalent of the Pacleds. Right, okay. Yeah. What's Hyperdrive? Hyperdrive. It was a British science fiction comedy that had numerous very funny people in it. It doesn't matter. Okay. If you've not no seen it, I will loan you the I DVDs. I probably have, I just don't remember. I will loan you the DVD. Okay. It um, starred Nick Frost as the, the captain of the ship. It was a British ship as well. It was a British ship in space. Oh, okay. Fantastic! Oh, just oh, you, you'd have liked the chief navigation officer. Why? She was a nymphomaniac, uh, nymphomaniac android who used to just hump things randomly. She was very funny. Android. Um, oh yeah. no, no! I tell a lie. She wasn't an android. She was. They called her an enhanced because she was a cyborg. human who had been. Yeah. She was a cyborg, right? Okay. Um, but yes, that is rather good. That is rather good. I'm very impressed. Wonky down. Wonky down. <laughs> or I think you that might have just put on my catch. For, for something Wonky Dome. I I, I don't okay. I, you know. I'm giving it a nine and a half and it lost because of my wonky dome. <laughs> I'm giving it a nine. Um on the basis that I don't feel like giving it any more than a nine. It's, um, <laughs> it, no, it's incredibly well it's, done. It's actually really well done, to be fair. There's no, there's no reason for it not to have a ten, except for his wonky dome. Yeah, <laughs> because it, it, it's exactly well, it's roughly how I imagined fair, it would have appeared on screen. Some of the detail is a little muted. bit muted, but, but that's because, because of the metal, metal. part. Um, but yeah, no. Yeah. yeah. Okay, right, let's crack on. I shall do photos in a bit. Issue 143 is The Merchantman from Star Trek 3, The Search for Spock. It didn't last long. Oh. Type freighter launched in 23rd century. <laughs> 150 metres, maximum speed, warp, oh my. Okay, warp. What five. the hell? What the hell? Seriously, what the hell? Operated by Independent, uh, it's a freighter, 23rd century, 150 metres, three crew, warp five phasers, which they didn't get a chance to use. No. Um, there we go, and including the lower fin, which I don't think made it to the version that was in there. Oh. <coughs> I'm trying to oh. look. <laughs> <laughs> um. Valkyries. Judge. Judge. <laughs> um, there's the uh, CG shot of the ship, and then there's a topographical view showing the main bridge, the forward energy weapon, which I assume is the aforementioned phasers. See, I thought it was an energy weapon. I didn't remember it had been phasers. The thing is, I would have said that during the time period it's in, if it's just got energy weapons, it's going to get screwed. It's good, yeah. yeah. Um, the fact that they weren't fast enough to even activate the phasers when they got blowed up doesn't bode well. Um, warp nacelles, cargo, cargo hull, the sensor and communication arrays are on the troglodyte style fin outer yeah. 
Rider right, Finn of Things, Impulse Engine, there we go. Uh, Design the Merchantman. Someone took a troglodyte, put a Canadian engine on it, by the look of it. Yep. But there we go. Um, a whole and of course it got stuff. refitted for various use on other... Yeah, it didn't get a repaint and a... Yeah, it turned up DS9, all over the place. Yeah. DS9, TNG, yeah. Yes, that's right. Outrage O'Connor. Mm. Kana's ship. Was one of them. Same clash, we'll, we'll say that. Um, Star Trek 3 visual effects. There's a shot I've always loved. Space um, Dark. Variations on Space Dark, which is always cool. Oh, internals of Space Dock. Hiding the uh, mm. Titans Enterprise in the background there. Um, more shots that we saw in the Space Dock magazine. Don't know what's happened with Space Dock on the Eagle Moss side. Not impressed. Still owed one. It's disappeared. Not gone out of stock. It's disappeared. It's, mm. um, bird of Prey and let's stick my arm up a puppet. Um, <clears throat> no, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> Beautiful effect, though. I know, but no. <laughs> oh, I'm waiting with the nun. <laughs> there we go. Right, some more stuff about what was going on in Star Trek 3, including blowing up a planet. You know, like you did. Yes, you did. And key appearance, search for Spock in a shot move. Um, there's Rand, but not Rand. But not Rand, Rand, but it is Rand. Uh, Valkyrie. And the next issue is gone to, which by the way is already in the shops, which is really irritating when everybody subscribe. It's been there for at least a week at this point. Right. That is quite a chunk of ship. Beautiful Actually. detailing. Yeah. Incredibly well painted, different textures. Just the style is phenomenal. Underneath. Oh, oh. Underneath. <laughs> wow. And, I'm brushing on that. And wow. Wow. acrylics on the inside of the... Okay. Sven. Yeah, ten. 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 <laughs> Wow, that that's that's. Remind me, has any of the starship these. ever had a ten out? Yes, we have given a couple of tens in the past. Have I? Yeah, and we always have the. Remind me. <laughs> well, <laughs> remind me. Them, remind me. Yeah, um, my memory is not great. <clears throat> that that is stunning. That that is fantastic. Why aren't they all like that? I don't know. Do you know what this needs? A stand that it's not wonky on, but I'm still scoring it a ten. What this needs is very light bird of prey. I think we can arrange it. I think we can too. Being as I forewarned you. <laughs> so you're giving it a 10? I'm giving it a 10, yeah. yeah. I don't have any problem there at all. I don't see any problem. I mean, yes, it's got the fin that wasn't on the... I don't think was on the model they used in the actual film. But it was supposed to be there. I think it was yeah. broken off. But, um... That's fantastic. That is phenomenal. That is really... That is my favourite non-Federation starship out of the entire thing. Mm. Easily. The detailing's insane. Yeah. That's really well done. Just think, a few issues away from the end of the collection, they finally figure out how it's meant to be done. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Go on, then.
So I think it went from this to it's this to to a hundred <laughs> little bits yeah. kicking around. Actually, isn't that roughly to scale? <laughs> According to the film. Actually, if I put it there so it's a bit bigger. Yeah. There you go, that's there go. roughly that's just scale. scale. The worst thing is is that the, 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 the module here does suggest because this is only supposed to be the bridge in the Braille class, isn't it? In Braille, yeah. Um so it's like the bridge is this small? Not entirely sure of that scale. <laughs> you think it might be a smidge out? I think it tad a little bit. Tad. I mean, Maybe a tad and a half. The bird of prey is supposed to have what, twelve crew on board? Depends which bird of prey. Well, if it's a braille class, it's that bird of prey. Yeah, so it's supposed to have 12 people on board. It's crews. So maybe it's a D12, maybe it's a braille class, but I'd wait tiny. It's a scout class, so, isn't it? So, and this is. So, so. This is a freighter. It's not the size. I know. Realise this. But with respect, you can get a couple of whales on board on them, but that's your limit. Hey! Limits. I don't judge! <laughs> You can get two humpback whales in one of those. That's not an awful lot of freight, to be fair. And this is a freighter. The cargo hold on this has got to be at least as big as the cargo hold on that thing. Sven. Therefore, Sven. <laughs> Star sure. Trek and scale. <laughs> right. Okay, so before we wrap this up, okay. can I just mention one little thing? It's not very little if it's what I think it is. And it's bloody expensive. Oh, we are going to talk about the same thing. Yes. Because um, me and you haven't actually had a chance to discuss it because I wanted to do this on film. Hmm. Do you think that's going to be an incredibly expensive piece of crap? Yeah, yeah, yes it is. It's oh, good, 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 good. I'm glad we're both on the same. Okay, so my points for not even... Well, I didn't see the point. People are going, oh, well, I'll buy the first issue. And I'm like, why? Wait. Because that's wasteful for the environment. There's plastic and you just no. If you're not going to complete the damn thing, don't buy don't any start. of the issues. Yeah. yeah. So for, from my point of view, I was looking at it going. It might be worth as well, much what you're talking about. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm talking about the the constructor own enterprise, which I'm sorry, but they shouldn't be allowed to use that tag. That tag was for the Meccano. That was build your own enterprise. Nice. So, yeah. It's but we'll go with construct your hard <laughs> work. The part work. Your own enterprise yeah. D. But that isn't the enterprise D. I don't know what that thing is that they're <laughs> parading around. It's like let's take the six foot model, the four foot model, and somehow make something that looks like neither. It it's just and and our amazing ten forward without windows. <laughs> Main deflector dish that's the Not model the right shape, shape and colour. Yeah. yeah. I looked at it, loads of my friends are going, oh, you'll be really into this. And I'm like, no, it's shit. No, even if it wasn't a thousand pounds. Which, by the way, it is. No. 100 issues, 10 pounds each, except for the first couple. First, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, I, Unless you go for the premium version, then oh, you pay yeah. an extra pound on yeah, each issue. Have a better stand. To get a better stand. Why do you need a better stand? It should come with a better stand. It's mirrored and lit and, and lovely and not worth a thousand pounds. No. no, no. Did I mention no? No. The the navigation lights don't even blink. <laughs> Hallmark Christmas tree ornament. They blink. Yeah. Um, the nacelles are completely the wrong shape. The saucers completely wrong. It does. It's angled. Or, no. I, I. You know. That I'm not a great fan of sitting on forums and messing no. about, but when they announced it, I went and I asked some questions because I really wanted to understand what they were trying to do. And apparently, it is the shape it is because it's, ha it's the only way they can make it. It's a piss poor argument. Just don't bother them. Yeah, frankly. I mean, the, the two, the two um, shuttle bays on the back of the neck are too high up, and they're the same size. Again, they haven't learned that one. Yeah, at least from the shots I've seen. So, is, um, is there anything we should? I think the worst this? piece of marketing they've done for it so far is you go to the website about it and it shows you pictures of the screen used Enterprise, the six foot model, um, the four foot one, and then show you the model you're getting. And it's like, really? why on I earth thought, would I buy that? <laughs> I thought the worst piece of marketing they've done for it was the video of Ben. <laughs> That was not. That was terrible. No. no. 
Yeah. Okay, so that's why we will not be reviewing that one. Yeah. 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 Now, there's also been a little leak slash maybe assumption slash let's take this with a massive pinch of salt um, to suggest that there's been a listing put out by Eagle Moss. Not convinced about this. Um, that in December we'll be seeing the first issue of the Star Trek Picard, the official Starships collection. Now, most people dismissed it immediately because I hadn't announced a name for it. And then, Snicker Martin Green went out and actually called it Star Trek Picard in an interview. Um, so that's a little, little bit of credence to it, but I'm not so sure. But, and this is interesting, everybody will notice that the XL Enterprise E has been out of stock for over a year now. Um, they have not done an intermediate size Enterprise E. No. They haven't done a special of it, etc, etc. Now, if the Picard series ships are the same size as the Discovery ships, which I'd kind of expected the Discovery ships are doing well enough, though I find it quite irritating, I'd rather they were this side. Um, it's interesting that this first listing suggests it's the NCC-1701E refit. Now, that would kind of make sense, because the ship was refitted, it was refitted, refitted twice, twice yeah. to our knowledge. If not three times. Well, because yeah, because they might do it a third time for this show. Yeah, because at the end of the day, the Enterprise E that was in first contact was changed for insurrection and then changed again for Nemesis. Admittedly, it was a minor change between first oh, contact and insurrection, but the Nemesis. It was a major was, change yeah. for Nemesis. Yeah, where in the cells had moved and so on and so forth. And of course, after the ramming speed. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Let's run by text message. Oh, all right, you then. Oh, Diana's driving again. I'm sure she'll crash it quite happily. Um, <laughs> am I wrong? She crashed the saucer section, didn't she? From the Enterprise D. And there she is, sitting under the front, and Picard texts her over the intercom system and basically goes, Crash that ship. <laughs> I'd like to see you land the saucer section. <laughs> um, <laughs> see, I wouldn't have any problem landing the saucer section. Why? Land the saucer. <laughs> My command is done, that's it. <laughs> Real hard for me to figure out how to land it. <laughs> wow. I want you to do an interlock without using the computer. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, so at the end of an Nemesis, she gets refit because she has to be refit because she's in bits. So that would necessarily be a slightly different enterprise at the end of the Nemesis. And then 20 years later, it's not going to be the same ship. Okay. It's going to have had to have a bridge module, swap outs, all sorts of systems upgraded and so on and so forth. So but the warp nacelles would have had to have had at least two more redesigns since then just because of the uh, the theoretical changes with, within the warp drives. Well, yeah, I mean, they would have... They would have they'd, have, they'd have had to have so redesigned like it at least had, twice. Had the, 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 path, the pathway of, of upgrades, wouldn't they? Yeah. They would have developed theoretically in the universe. Um, it would be interesting. Why the Venge had different... You know what, it would be really... I know it's a really sad D thing to think, but it would be interesting to see if at any point during the new Picard show, whether they mention the speeds that Starships are travelling at. I'll be very curious to see whether the Federation have kept the Warp 5. Well, they weren't with the Voyager because they made it move. Voyager and the Enterprise E was designed so it wouldn't affect... That, that's why it was the design it is. So it'd be interesting to see interesting. what it's done to oh, a galaxy ships. class to yeah. make it compliant. Yeah. Especially if they say called it the Challenger and had Geordie on board. That'd anyway. Cool. Right. So, um, should we so this there's a possibility up? that that first Picard ship might be the Enterprise E refit. It's in a listing that's kicking around. It might be fake. I think it probably is. I think it's someone basically enjoying extrapolating themselves. and enjoying themselves with that. Um, but it's an interesting thing to think about. So, so that, that about wraps it up for us, but we'd love to read your comments, so leave them in the section below. You can subscribe to us here on YouTube. You can follow us on both Facebook and Twitter. At and don't forget to find... Oh, yeah, hey, 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 calm down. Okay. Um, on Facebook, there's the Geekology of the Group, so make sure you get yourself in there. And then you might see some photos. And there is, of course, the Patreon page to check out. So thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Oh,
the moss finally get to give it right? Find out. No, that's shit. Uh, Tonight on Geekology, have Eagle Moss finally got the hang of this? Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to have just one fresh clean cup for that yeah. one? Three, two, one. Hi and welcome to Geekology. I'm David. And Sven has lost some weight. <laughs> good little Sven. Oh, is that what happens, Sven? Good little Sven. Good <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, that is actually for you. I, I genuinely got that for you. It, it amused me. I saw it in a free pack and I was like, fuck yeah! Oh, oh it's, it's me! me. Oh, right, I it see. Is that makes sense. Did you not understand? I thought it was a fucking hamster or something. Did you not understand why I was doing the no, Sven joke? I thought it was a fucking hamster. No, it's a Sven! Okay. It's a Sven, Sven! That was the joke! Actually, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, I can turn it into a real Sven Sven. <laughs> so, should, should we have some sort of crack at a semblance even of, of doing this in a, a decent like fashion? Hi. Three. Hi and welcome to Geekology, I'm David. I'm Sven. And tonight we're going to be doing... Oh, I've got one fucking job. One job. Three, two, one. Example technology. Oh, hello. I assume that was the name of the, uh, the ship. Oh, we've gone back to doing that, haven't we? Shocking. Uh, Captain Galaxar. Welcome to the blue because <laughs> David can't keep your shit together. No, it's not. <laughs> it's it's not that. Uh, last week on the news quiz, Miles Jupp did this thing where he went, Trust me, you've never known terrifying until a middle aged woman said, Oh, you've chosen to do that Have you? <laughs> oh, they've gone back to that. Except the bloke in Panamori. Anyway, sorry. <clears throat> Or to put it another way, I will obviously end up in the blue prison nowhere else. Um, it's a bent belly. <laughs> so when okay. he does those sort of type of jokes, he thinks it's adorable, and I do it in shock. It's probably more um, I'm sure. If they gave her, I would be shocked. What we need to do is wear a skirt. Mm. Maybe you don't get a skirt. Um, <laughs> that and... I want to bring out the bloopers. Um, right, well, that about wraps it up for us, but we'd love to read your comments. So read your comments. <coughs> Three, two, 